Hey, Riverwood Church. I want to ask you a question. How big is your faith? You know, I don't know if you've ever really given a lot of thought to that, but it's kind of hard not to when you read as I have from Luke chapter 17. The apostle said to the Lord, increase our faith. Now, Jesus doesn't respond by, you know, poof, your faith is increased. Instead, what he does is he says these words. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and be planted in the sea and it will obey you. Well, what conclusion could you draw from that? Because I have not been able to uproot a mulberry tree and uh, have it planted in the seed by my faith. And I think in some ways what Jesus is saying is it's the smallest of faith that can do the impossible things. And so maybe you haven't seen though that magnitude of things in your life. And, and maybe the conclusion is, is you just don't have a big enough faith. Well, I wonder if something deeper is also going on here. Because the very next narrative that follows that statement is where Jesus heals 10 lepers. And if you remember that story, only one turns back. And it's to that leper that he says, go, your faith has made you well. It's made you whole. And, and so I got to thinking that maybe the idea that Jesus is trying to convey here isn't so much about the magnitude of the size of our faith because if we have faith as small as a mustard seed, impossible things will happen. And I think the thing that uh, maybe he's trying to impress upon his disciples is faith is faith that shows up. It shows up when that leper turned to show gratitude for what God had done. And so when we notice the things in our lives that God is doing, that's an expression of faith. And that's the stuff that will heal us, that will make us whole. And we'll do impossible things in our lives, things that we may not be able to see. So I hope that encourages you today. And hey, I am looking forward to being with you again on Sunday. As we conclude our study of the Gospel of John, uh, we'll be looking at uh, chapter 21. Uh, and it's just a great restoration uh, chapter. So read that. I think you'll enjoy um, just the words that Jesus has for Peter. And uh, I think you can probably identify with those yourself. In any case, look forward to seeing you Sunday and have a great day.